The amphibious combat vehicle is called ACV. ACV is the core next generation vehicle designed to move Marines from ship to shore. Designed to replace the core aging amphibious assault vehicle, the ACV will be the primary means of tactical mobility for the Marine Infantry Battalion at sea and ashore. The ACV will possess ground mobility and speed similar to the M101 tank during sustained operations ashore and have the capability to provide organic. Direct fire support to dismounted infantry in the attack. The ACV will support expeditionary mobility capability and capacity with balanced levels of performance, protection, and payload. The assault amphibious vehicle is called OGV. Initially fielded in 1972, remains the primary general support armored personnel carrier for Marines. The odd family of vehicles consists of a personnel, a command, and control, and a recovery variant. The amphibious combat vehicle will eventually replace the odd family of vehicles. In 2018, the Corps selected base systems, along with Team Main Iveco Defense Vehicles, to build a replacement for its aging OV, which is also built by BAE. The ACV is an advanced, eight-wheeled vehicle equipped with a new six-cylinder, 700-horsepower engine, which provides a significant power increase over the AV currently in service. The Pentagon's chief testing agency has given a mixed review of one of the Department of Defense's newest and most important programs. According to the Department of Testing and Evaluations is called DOT Annual Overview of New Weapons and Equipment, the Marine Corps' amphibious combat vehicle performs better than past vehicles, but is still unreliable. The ACV is designed to move Marines ashore during an amphibious assault. The report is a three-page overview of the Marines' testing of its new amphibious combat vehicle, which is designed to replace the 40-year-old amphibious assault vehicle and getting a squad or more of Marines ashore during amphibious landings. The ACV can swim into shore with a crew of 3 and 13 passengers, then either disembark them onto the beach or drive inland. The new ACV differs from the older vehicle in a number of ways. The most obvious difference is the use of an 8x8 wheel configuration instead of tracks. The ACV is also designed to use more modern armor and protection techniques, including protection from improvised explosive devices. On land, the ACV can travel up to 325 miles on a full tank of gas, 25 miles farther than the older AV. The new vehicle is also speedier on the roads, with a top speed in excess of 65 miles per hour, as opposed to the AV's 45 miles per hour.
The ACV is a family of 8x8 armored vehicles that includes a personnel variant, command and control variant, recovery variant, and 30mm gun variant. The ACV program office is focusing on current procurement efforts on the personnel variant. It is a modern generation, 8 wheel armored personnel carrier with a combat-loaded gross vehicle weight of around 32,000 kilograms. The primary weapon on the ACV is a single-mount RWS, remote weapon station, equipped with an MK-19 automatic grenade launcher or M2 12.7mm caliber heavy machine gun. The ACV is a mobile, survivable, and adaptable platform for conducting full-spectrum ship-to-shore operations and brings enhanced combat power to the battlefield. Developed with teammate Iveco defense vehicles, the ACV represents the optimum balance of sea and land mobility, survivability, and future growth potential. With a force protection capability three times greater than the assault amphibious vehicle, the ACV is designed so Marines can complete their missions successfully. In November 2020, Delta Company, 3rd Assault Amphibian Battalion, based out of 29 Palms, California, received the Marine Corps 1st Amphibious Combat Vehicle. In 2021 more units will start to receive the ACV, destined to completely replace the Vietnam-era amphibious assault vehicle. The next lot of ACV is expected to hit the fleet in January or February, with a new shipment being received by Marine units every two or three months after that, Marine Corps Times previously reported. In early December the Corps approved the full rate production of the ACV paying about $184 million to base systems for 36 new vehicles.